Hi, and welcome to this video series, where we will explain how to create spatial videos for Apple Vision Pro using Mystica Boutique. What is spatial video? It is a 3D video meant to be displayed in VR headsets, such as the Apple Vision Pro. You can record this type of video with an iPhone or any other stereoscopic camera or rig. When dealing with spatial video, it is essential to adjust the image geometry and color to remove potential camera or lens defects. Mystica stands out as the most advanced stereoscopic technology available, having been employed for years in top-tier productions like The Hobbit, Tintin, Prometheus, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In this tutorial, we will explore how to effortlessly produce next-gen content for the Apple Vision Pro using Mystica's Stereo 3D Toolkit. When working with content recorded on an iPhone, the initial step is to transcode the video. The iPhone records in a stereoscopic format known as MVHEVC. To open the video in Mystica Boutique, we will first need to convert it using an external tool to a more standard side-by-side -side format. For content generated with any other 3D camera or rig, you can directly import the media into Mystica Boutique and start working. In this tutorial, we'll be working with two formats, a side-by-side -side clip and another clip where the left and right eyes are already separated. Now let's configure our project in Mystica Boutique with the Mystica Config tool. Open the tool and select the resolution for your video. We will use a standard HD resolution and 30 frames per second. However, depending on the camera, you can always choose higher or custom resolutions. Accept the configuration and open Mystica Boutique. Once opened, navigate to the project panel and create a new project. Now, import your side-by-side -side video by dragging it onto the Mystica canvas. The next step is to separate the left and the right eye clip. To do that, head to the FX panel. On the right side, you will find Mystica's stereoscopic tools. With the clip selected, apply the stereo extract effect. Double-click to enter the visual editor and adjust the effect parameters. Under the extract section, choose SDS left. To extract the right eye, return to the time space and duplicate the clip. You can achieve this by holding down Alt key, and dragging the stack or by copying and pasting. Enter the effect and switch it to SBS right. Now, the left and right eye views are separated. Ensure both eye clips are vertically aligned in the time space, with the left eye positioned above and the right eye below. Let's adjust the stereoscopy of the shot. To do this, select the entire stack, go to FX, and click on Stereo 3D. With this effect, you can adjust any aspect of your Stereo 3D clip. Mystica Boutique Stereo 3D toolset is extremely advanced. In this initial part of the guide, we'll utilize the most basic tools, as most of the time, there's no need to do anything else to achieve a perfect result. Double-click on the effect to enter the visual editor. In the central area of the 3D toolset, we can see two features, match color and match geometry. Initially, these two tools are all we need to adjust the stereoscopy of our shot. To identify geometry errors, it's recommended to use the anaglyph mode. Go to the 3D button, activate it, and select black and white anaglyph. As we can see, the geometry is not perfect, with noticeable vertical misalignments. A flawless result requires the eyes to be separated only horizontally, without any vertical differences or rotations. Additionally, ensuring uniform color between both eyes is crucial. A quick way to compare them is by switching between the left and right eyes using the left view and right view shortcuts. E for left and R for right. As you can see, there is a slight color difference between the two images. To fix this, return to the anaglyph mode to verify the geometry adjustment. Click on Match Geometry, and there you have it. It works like magic. With just one click, we fix the geometry of the shot. Now let's do the same with the color by clicking on Match Color. Done. Now both eyes are color adjusted as well. From here, we could creatively adjust the depth of the clip using the Match Move tool to decide where to place the convergence point. Alternatively, we can use numerical control in balance geometry and position X. At this stage, we could continue with our project by adding more shots, making the edit, color grading, 
or even composing 3D objects. However, we will cover these aspects in the third part of this guide. If the left and right eye views of the input footage are already separated, the process remains the same, but there is no need to use Stereo Extract. Instead, we use the Stereo 3D node directly to match geometry and color, just like in the previous example. It's that easy. Finally, to render these clips, select them and add edit marks to designate the area you want to render. Navigate to Output, and under Video, choose the format and codec. In the video settings, it's crucial to select the stereo mode for our render, in this case, side by side. Enter the clip name and click on foreground to render our recently adjusted clips. The final step involves transforming the side by side render to MVHEVC using an external tool, and then our project would be ready for Apple Vision Pro. If you're interested in exploring the more advanced options in Mystica's Stereo 3D toolset, proceed to the second part of our guide for creating content for Apple Vision Pro. Additionally, if you want to learn how to compose 3D objects in your spatial video clips, refer to part 3. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media to stay up to date on the latest news and updates from Mystica Technology. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.